Hi, uh, we are Group 1. We are going to demonstrate how to set up a rogue access point and to locate a rogue access point. Following are the devices that we have used. First is the Linksys wireless router. Uh, second one is a Catalyst 3550 which is acting as a rogue switch which is connected to a la uh, laptop. Uh, the laptop is actually connected to the RIT network and we are going to bridge the local area and the wireless network. Then we are using a, another laptop which is going to connect to the rogue access point with RIT1 as a SSID. Uh, let's go on and uh, we'll show you how to configure uh, configure the Linksys router. So initially we are going to connect it to RIT1 network. Uh, now we have to enter uh, 192.168.1.1 IP address. If you see, we have uh, this, we have entered the configuration of Linksys router. Uh, we have defined an IP address for the clients as 192.168.1.100.149. So and uh, we have statically configured a DNS IP. Uh, in the DHCP reservation pool, if you see, uh, this uh, this machine has been assigned 192.168.1.100 with the following MAC address. So, let's see the status page. Uh, since uh, since it is not bridge, uh, you, will, you won't see any IP address being assigned. So the IP address is like 0, .0, .0, .0. Now let's go to the uh, let's bridge the uh, local area and the RIT network. Uh, first, go to network connection, and uh, once you open the network connection, uh, select the local area network and the wireless internet net, uh, network connection. Uh, as you see, the wireless network connections have been is been connected to RIT network. Now, right right click the both the uh, one of the buttons. Uh, you if you see uh, there is an option to bridge. I'm selecting bridge. Once that is uh, up, it will show you the status. Uh, now let's go to the router. Uh, using Putty, I have uh, logged into the rogue switch. Uh, as you see, uh, the prompt shows rogue switch. So I have configured, uh, I have uh, connected my uh, Ethernet connection to FA0 slash 3 and one of the, another interface, uh, FA0 slash 1 is connected to the internet, uh, wired internet of the uh, Linksys router. As you see, the interface is up. If you see, I have configured. Uh, uh, interface FA0 slash 1 in the VLAN 129 and uh, interface FA0 slash 3 in uh, same, interne uh, same VLAN 129. So both are in the same VLAN. Now, once the um, RIT network is bridged, with the local area network, if you see the status page, I would have been assigned an IP address that is 129 21 255. some extra credit. Sorry. So I have been assigned a 129 21 85 255 and the DHCP server as 129.21.13.174. And the following are the DNS IP addresses 129.21.3.17. So, if you see, uh, I'm trying to assign an uh, IP address 
through DHCP server. So So the DHCP server has assigned an IP address of uh, 129.21.86.210. The following is the ARP table. Now let's try to ping the laptop which is connected to RIT network. Uh, so the RIT network, uh, the laptop interface IP address is 129.21.85.255. So I'm trying. I'll try to ping it from the rogue switch. Close. Should be able to ping. Okay, let's go on to the uh, Linksys router and see what IP address the DHCP server has been assigned. If I give a refresh, uh, the DHCP server has assigned uh, IP address of 129. 21.85.171 so let's try to ping from the rogue switch to the rogue access point so it should be able to ping so as you see the ping is successful and show IP ARP table will show all IP addresses been resolved so from the Uh, let's try to uh, let's try to ping uh, the external laptop that is 129 129.21.85.255 the ping should work fine yeah the ping is successful Uh, let's try to SSH or uh, or uh, rogue switch using putty. So I'm trying to ping, uh, I'm trying to SSH 210, the following IP address. So if I say open, I should be getting the login prompt. Yes, uh, it, uh, this is a key. If I give, do give username as Cisco, and Cisco123. I'm able to get the router prompt, that is rogue switch. I've entered into the uh, privilege access mode. Now, if I give show version, uh, it works fine. So, the SSH works fine. Okay. Uh, the SSH works fine, and uh, this is the app table. Uh, as you see, 129.21.85.71. Uh, is the uh, IP address of rogue access point and uh, 129.21.86.210 is the uh, router's uh, rogue switch access point uh, okay uh, so this is all the configuration and the uh, part so we are done with the configuration